All right, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it in under 30 seconds so we can clip it and tell it to people who ask me to react to educational things, okay? If I react to things that are already educational and well-informed, I'm just putting my face on other people's content and providing nothing original. I don't want to do this. I react to shitty videos so that I can provide an opportunity for education and to learn things and to add my own twist to the video so that the content is original and unique and worth being on YouTube. That is why I do not watch educational, well-made videos. I watch shitty videos. And on that note, how about 10 sightings of the Megalodon that proves it exists? <laughs> okay. Number 10. An unverified attack. This is the fourth time I think we've seen this. It's the CGI whale from the film. Well, let's start things off not with an actual sighting, but with the possible outcome of a close encounter with a Megalodon. A few years ago, a photo surfaced on the internet showing a beached whale. While seeing yeah, it didn't service on the internet, it's from the Megalodon mockumentary and it's fake. Being a beached whale is already strange and sad in itself. There is something that sets this event apart from the rest. How dramatic the that photo tail is. tail is missing, and it looks like it's been bitten off by something large. The most compelling thing about the photo is that you can clearly see bite marks around where the tail should have been. Now, Way too big to be bite marks and not at all what bite marks look like. One of the largest animals in the oceans. Who could have done such a thing? The only animal with the size and strength to possibly do this is, you guessed it, the mighty Megalodon. Nope. Or maybe a sperm whale, but they got no reason to go after these guys. What? Number nine. There was so much wrong. Unusually young teeth. Oh my god, it's literally Still just every fucking sighting. Megalodon I promise video. We're gonna get into those in a bit, the fucking but HMS there's also Challenger. Something pretty compelling here. Tell me about the this HMS story Challenger. This has something to do with the British ship HMS Challenger, a yep. former small warship that was converted into the first dedicated oceanographic mm -hmm. ship mm -hmm. with its own laboratories, mm -hmm. microscopes, yep. and other scientific equipment mm -hmm. on board. Mm -hmm. While it was dredging a seabed near Tahiti in 1875, it pulled up a pair of megalodon teeth. Of course, over the years, data the teeth has produced mixed results. Some dates fall to the 10,000 to 15,000 year old range, and that's a far cry from 1.5 million years ago when megalodon supposedly. So it has since been proved by multiple experts. We even went through it in my whole megalodon disproving documentary or document that I made that the dating done by the HMS Challenger was bullshit, inaccurate, and incredibly poorly based. Um, so yeah. The Google image. Ah, classic. Ever since Google Maps was launched, a lot of people have been finding strange things on Will we find a sighting in this video that we haven't already seen in a different video? You need the polarized sunglasses. Oh, to see the Megalodon? Yeah, 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 I got you. Let me grab the polarized sunglasses so I can see it. This lets me see things that uh, definitely really exist. Yep. The image reportedly shows a Google map image in the Bahamas. In it, you can clearly see the silhouette of an extremely All right, focus, focus, on. Oh. Polarized, normal. Polarized, normal. Polarized, normal. Okay. I'm ready to come to a conclusion. It's photoshopped. Could it be a whale shark, the only living animal that could even remotely match what's on the photo? Yeah, it could be. But if you see the photo, there's something a bit off with the shape for it to be a whale shark. Of course, it is a bit premature to declare this to be a megalodon, but what are the other possibilities barring the whale and basking shark? Photoshopped. Shark. Also basking shark. Number seven, the Cape Town photo. Okay, also from the Megalodon mockumentary, proven to be fake, actors intended as a joke, got a shitload of backlash for it. The original photo does not have the shark in the background. The photo even shows German sailors looking at the monstrous beast as it swims alongside the submarines. Added to the photo in Using post. Using the length of the subs as a basis, the length of the fish, just from the dorsal fin to the tail, is a whopping 64 feet. Many have claimed that this is undeniable evidence that the Megalodon still exists today. Or at least one was still alive in 1940. Undeniable evidence when it's literally from a mockumentary and was admitted by the people who made it to be fake. Too. However, a lot also says the photo was faked, and it was the Discovery Channel, the ones who showed the photo in the documentary about Megs, was behind it all. Yep. 
if the photo is proven to be true, you can literally find the f you can find the photo without the shark in the background very easily. It's definitely a game changer. The shark was big enough to swallow several lobster pots at least, but the size estimates said drew from the workers range from 115 feet to an absurd 300 foot minimum. <laughs> this so extremely far outside the megalodon range. If the low is over 100 feet and like the max for a megalodon is like 60s. Yeah. Of course, I'm talking about the Megalodon. If Which was right never that big. Size estimates, there may still be a living Megalodon, or even a living population out there at sea. Although, I will admit that's a little absurdly big for a Megalodon, though. Oh, you think? Is it? Is 300 feet a little absurdly big for a 60-foot shark? Hmm. Is it? Number five. On a Mexican... Basking shark. I feel like I, I studied for a test and now the, the test popped up and I just, I know all the answers. <laughs> I've seen every one of these before. So I'm just like, boom, basking shark. Boom, Discovery Channel mockumentary. Boom, faked photo. Boom, CGI. While you could say that this could just be a great white shark, it definitely looks larger than anyone I've seen. 100% not a great white and shark. Definitely a basking know shark. what kind of shark whose size much closely resembles its the megalodon? It's really not that big. He's talking about it like it's this Goliath. The humans are closer to the photo. I mean, it just really does not. It's just not. Doesn't look that big. You know what? Looks kind like of a shark basking shark. As much closely resembles it's the megalodon. I think we can all kind of, you know, come to a conclusion on that one now. No. Nope. Of course, skeptics will always tell anybody who would listen that it's just a beach great white shark. But it's not a beach great white. There are no great whites that could even possibly reach that size. Let's read the article that he literally put on screen. The male basking shark, which weighed an estimated 5,000 pounds and was measured at 26 feet, died shortly after authorities arrived on the scene. Basking sharks can grow up to 35 feet in length and are the second largest fish in the oceans after the whale shark. The basking shark, this particular species, the basking shark, cool. No amount of evidence, no matter how has no teeth. Is enough for how would that be a megalodon? It's clearly a basking a shark. Alive or at least capture footage of one in the wild. I do <laughs> love the fact that he put the article on screen without even reading that the article says that it is a basking shark, that it is scientifically identified as a basking shark. Not only did he find that article, he avoided reading it and put it on screen. That's so funny to me. Number four. The Black Demon. Okay. The Black Demon Shark is an enormous black shark whose territory is said to be just off the coast of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. In recent times, several local fishermen have reported seeing the black monstrosity. The Black Demon is said to be 20 to 60 feet long and weighing anywhere between 50 to 100,000 pounds. The ocean- yeah, 100,000 pounds is fucking insane. Is it made of like gold? Is it like what is it made of to weigh a hundred thousand pounds at twenty feet? That's absolutely insane. That was a twenty-six foot great or basking shark that was five thousand pounds. So it weighs ten times more than a basking shark. But of course, the more popular theory is that the supposedly extinct megalodon still roams the coast of Baja. So sure. Is beware. Makes sense. Number totally. Three. The Coast Guard footage. Woohoo! We've Aside talked about this one many times. Spend most of their lives at sea, the I don't think we're going to get anything new today, boys. I'm sorry to tell you. Coast Guard. Though he did say that the number one pick was particularly shocking, so hopefully it gives us something there. If the size of the shadow was of any indication, the animal was upwards of 60 feet long. Of course, it could have been another large fish, primarily the whale shark. But there is one glaring flaw in that assumption. Whale sharks don't swim anywhere near Brazil. Furthermore, the footage More has been analyzed by countless experts, and there's no way that it could have been doctored. With this, the video has been touted as the best evidence. There's the no way it could have been doctored. This is the lowest quality image I've. What do you mean? There's no way it could have been doctored. How can you possibly make a statement like that when you see the quality of this video? That's insane. That's such... I wish I had Continue. this guy's confidence in anything in my life at the confidence that he just said this video could not have been doctored. Existence of this beastly shark. Number two. 
The Zane Grey Siding. Sure. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. What does an award-winning novelist with a penchant for writing westerns have anything to do with megalodons? Well, he believes he actually saw one. Or rather, a shark too big to be and, to quote him, a harmless white shark. Apparently, the shark was yellow and green, with a square head, immense pectoral fins, and a few white spots. White spots. Square head. Huh. Where have I... Where have I heard of white spots and a square head before? Huh. Interesting. You know, it's probably the Megalodon. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually- He gets 15% subscribed? No shot this guy has 15% subscribers. I'm not even remotely close to that, and my content, I have to imagine, is higher quality than this shit. 99.4% of my viewers are not subscribed. 99.4%. How the fuck, as a top 10 channel, a shitty top 10 channel, do you manage 85% subscribed? Also, apparently I have 100% males. <laughs> Not a single woman has ever watched my videos. Fuck. Women aren't real. Sorry to tell you, sorry to break it to you this way, but YouTube says that you guys are male. <laughs> what if I do last 90 days? 2.8% subscribed in the last 90 days, 2.5% female. It's okay, guys. Girls exist. Yeah, 2.5% of my viewers. Hey, that's not bad. What, what percentage of YouTube viewers are women? 44%? And I get 2.5? Fuck. I need to do something more. What do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I not provide a welcoming environment to women? Hey guys, being a woman's cool. Number one. The Great Barrier Reef Sighting. Okay. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's largest marine habitats, serving as home to millions of fishes and other sea creatures. Whitish in color, they were awed by its size. It was as long, if not longer, than their boat. Experienced men of the sea, they too were certain the creature was not a whale. So, what was it? Other writers, such as author Rick Emmer, suggest it could have been Megalodon. Is there no footage? Didn't... They're just talking about something that they saw? Didn't he say the number one will convince you? It was so good it would convince you? Okay, whatever. Whoa! 